Hello, my friends. I hope you are having a beautiful start to your day. Um, or if your day already started a long time ago, that you're having a beautiful day so far. Um, so I want to start by saying that congratulations, you did it. You nailed that entire entire animal research project and you should feel really proud of yourself because it was a lot of work. Um, but we're getting ready to start something new. Um, so as of today and from now through the rest of the school year, you're going to be researching and writing and learning about Brazil. And um, in the process of doing that, we're gonna combine social studies, reading and writing all together. So you're gonna be doing a lot of, of understanding and learning about this exciting and extraordinary country. So knowing this, I want you to understand also that what we are gonna be doing in writing is you're gonna actually write a fiction story. So you're gonna come up with an idea that you wanna use for, um, uh, as, for a premise, as a premise, to teach us about Brazil. And you'll be doing that with books and, and, and videos and the things that you learn in social studies with Miss Kim and with the things that you learn about in reading with Miss Durson. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen because I want you to see what you're going to be using for starting off this week in order to, um, in order to take notes. All right, on today's slide, you will see that there's a place if you're learning from home that you can click to get a graphic organizer where you will um, click on it to see something that looks like this. If you are in school, you'll have a hard copy of this, but it's gonna look exactly the same. It says graphic organizer for the Brazil research. And in it, you're gonna see, oh, we're gonna learn about plants and insects and animals and art and celebrations and festivals and clothing and dance and music and economy and jobs and money and family and homes and customs and food and drink and landmarks and landforms and language and school and sports and ah! When you read, you pick up a book and you read all about Brazil and you learn something about sports, you're gonna put that information here. When you learn something about, you know, food, you're gonna put, in, put that in here. And when you learn something about, you know, celebrations and festivals, you're gonna put that information in here, all right? So you'll type it in if you are at home and you will handwrite it in if you were in school. So now you're like, well, where do I start? In school, there's gonna be tons of books as well as when you go home, books to research with online. If you are reading from home right now, you're gonna just click on Epic or click on the, um, the digital, uh, links that Ms. Jerson's gonna provide for you. I'm gonna just go to Epic, just for poops and giggles, to see what we have. I typed in Brazil, and this is what came up. I mean, it's like tons of really cool stuff. So I decided that, I don't know which book to read. I'm just gonna start with this one, Brazil. <laughs> and so, um, let me just start at the very beginning, because I already got, kind of worked on this a little bit this morning. But so if I look at the table of contents, it's gonna teach me about Brazil, a warm, wet home, life in Brazil, Brazil at a glance, and so forth. There's a glossary, there's an index, things that I wanna to use to learn more about. I don't know specifically what I wanna learn about, so I'm going to just start. Turn the page, welcome to Brazil. Hola, that is how people say hello in Brazil. This is the largest country in South America. It's home to exciting large cities. The people speak Portuguese. Hmm. You say hello by saying hola. It's the largest country in South America and people speak Portuguese. I'm gonna go back to my graphic organizer and I'm going to see if anything in there is going to be a, a space for me to write. And oh, it's the largest country in South America. People speak Portuguese. Oh, language. I'm gonna write right into this spot, O-L-A. And I'm gonna write, um, uh, People speak Portuguese in Brazil. Okay, and I think that Ola has an accent, but I don't exactly know how to do that right now when I type, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, also, I learned that it's the largest country in South America. Maybe this is like a new category, like cool words, or create a new category, like people in the rainforest. I don't really know exactly where I'm gonna put that, so I'm just gonna keep it in the back of my mind right now, and I'm gonna continue looking. Brazil is also home to the famous um, Amazon rainforest. More than half the plants and animals on Earth live here. Let's explore this beautiful country. Oh, the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna look for uh, landmarks or landforms rather, and I'm gonna write Amazon rain 
forest, um, and I'm going to write uh, colon largest rainforest in the world. Did I do that right? Ah, ah, there we go. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do while I'm reading is I'm just going to start opening up books and I'm oh, Rio de Janeiro is one of the largest cities in Brazil. The Christ Redeemer statue stands on a mountain. It is 98 feet tall. It can be seen from anywhere in Rio. Ah, Christ the Redeemer statue sounds like a landmark. I'm going to go back and I'm going to write Christ the Redeemer statue. I don't really remember what else. Oh, 98 feet, 98 feet tall. Um, and I'm going to go back because I don't remember everything that I just read. Oh, it's in Rio de Janeiro. In Rio de Janeiro. I already learned how to spell that a couple of minutes ago when I was practicing. Um, Christ the Redeemer statue stands 98 feet. It can be seen from anywhere in Brazil. The largest number of Catholics in the world live in Brazil. Almost 65% of the population shares um, this religion. Don't know that I need that right now, but maybe I will later. So I will just keep that in mind. So um, this is how I want you to consider um, taking notes, putting things in your own words, reading a little bit, going to your document, deciding what you think is important, what sounds interesting to you. And, and again, what sounds interesting to me right now might not be the same thing that sounds interesting to you. So that's, it's completely up to you about what you put down. I would suggest right now just randomly choosing books and then the more you start to get into it, the more you're gonna see, oh, this sounds interesting to me. I wanna start focusing on that. Just so that you know, as the week goes on, you might discover that you have a lot more information about some of those topics and you don't have any information about others. That's okay if that happens. But for now, for today, spend a good half an hour with a couple of books, with your graphic organizer, and um, and, and just dive in, you know? It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to be like, wow, I didn't know them. And you can sit down at the dinner table tonight and say to your parents, hey, guess what? Did you know that, you know, Christ the Redeemer statue is in Rio de Janeiro, this largest statue, and it's 98 feet tall, and, and it can be seen from all over um, Rio de Janeiro. And it's, you know, your parents are going to be like, wow, where did you learn that? And you're going to be like, oh, I was reading in a book today. <laughs> all right, my friends. I hope that you um, uh, enjoy this process. It's going to be really exciting, and I can't wait to learn from you about this really exciting country. Okay, my loves. Have a beautiful rest of your day.